Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Your top headline for the day is apparently there was a Crash Bandicoot Spyro crossover in the Activision Blizzard. But more of that at the end. Let's get into our uh, headlines for the day. A super fan of Dungeons and Dragons, Get Yankee, made a Baldur's Gate 3 infused Doom map where you can just hang out and talk with them. Keeping it in Doom news, E1M1 from the original Doom was made, remade in D Doom Eternal, and is kind of quaint. After six years of living as a monk, a total in a total of 19 years away from the game, MMO player returns to old school RuneScape, and proves the classic and proves the classic phrase: "You don't quit, you take breaks." A Valve developer shared a video of an even earlier version of their new uh, MOBA sh uh, hero shooter, Deadlock, in which ba the player battles Half-Life 2 enemies with Left 4 Dead weapons. Lies of P may see the new the upcoming Lies of P, uh, P sequel in the, in the works, might be taking a leaf out of Elden Ring's book and feature an open-world elements. And on to our main story of the day, the cancelled Crash Bandicoot 5 was reportedly set to be a Spyro crossover. Activision allegedly pulled the plug on the project to focus on what? But more live service games from Enemy.com by Ali Shuttler. In 2020, Toys for Bob and Activision released Crash Bandicoot 4, which we all, which is very good, and honestly, I should probably play it on stream one of these days. The first new installment in the beloved franchise since 1998. A new report has now revealed that Toys for Bob Wolves have started working on a follow-up as well before it was scrapped by Activision. In a new video from Did You Know Gaming, historian Liam Robertson claimed that the plot for Crash 5 would have seen warped antagonist Uka Uka access to Mono Spyro and cause havoc with the Dragon Elders. With Crash needing to travel between universes to save the day, it also reported that crap both Crash and Spyro would have been playable characters with the pair able to team up. Another scrapped plan involved playable origin stories for a number of Crash Bandicoot antagonists. Work on Crash Bandicoot 5 only lasted a few months from summer to November 2020, with Toys for Bob working on concept art and only early dev environments. This is very sad. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.